I have just arrived at Ringsted, only 32 minutes from Copenhagen Central Station, and what does the city have to offer? Let's head up and find out. While heading up the road between the center of the city and uh, Ringsted Station, well, I found out that this is the worst possible day I do this. It's rainy, it's windy, it's cloudy, Ew, it's not a beautiful day. But <laughs> it's not going to hold me back from exploring Ringsted City. As we come up to the city center, we enter the main shopping street. But Ringsted have done something spectacular because there is an outlet mall out here. But it's in the other end of town, so they have made a shopping snake throughout the city, a walking snake. A great walking experience through the city of Ringsted. And this shopping street has something special to offer, a special class, and I will get to that. But uh, let's head up the shopping street. All right, so we have reached the main city square. The main city square in Ringsted is actually quite a great feat of um, uh, traffic engineering. Because back when I was coming in Ringsted quite a lot, the place I'm walking right now was a road and there were a ton of cars. You were always stuck in traffic here. But now there are very limited traffic. There is uh, buses going quickly through the city. And well, if we turn around, one of the things that you should see here in Ringsted is right behind me. It is the church. It's quite a special church. It has been the church that is home to kings and queens. The municipality have one message while you're here. No, it's not sponsored by them, but uh, I do think it's a great message. Don't feed the pigeons, they just return and then there will be too many pigeons. When I say this is the home of kings and queens, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that from 11.30 to 13.30, this was the preferred burial site of the Danish royal family. And it is the church that has the second largest amount of burial tombs for the royal Danish family. The only one that has more tombs for burial of the Royal Danish family is in Roskilde and we are going to look at that in another episode. So remember to subscribe and click that bell notification icon to get notified when that video comes online. Right behind the church you will find the beautiful city park. Um, normally I would have sent up my drone to get some aerial photographies, but due to uh, Ringsted Airport, a small airport, a national airport, being right out behind the city, I cannot do that because this is a no-fly zone. And I don't have permission to fly in their airspace because that's too difficult to get in a short while. But, well, I will encourage you, if it's a great sunny day, not like today, to visit this beautiful city park, because it, it has something to offer. It has some beautiful, relaxing views. And this is the whole reason why you should visit Ringsted in the middle of your Copenhagen vacation, because you need to get a little bit away from the hustle and bustle of the big city. All right, so we are almost out at the outlet center, but does Ringsted have anything more to offer than shopping? Yes, of course it has. And we'll be covering that right after we have been down to the outlet center. Um, and while you're going here, if you are well, having a hard time walking, then there is actually an elevator because we have to go under a road. Um, but there's an elevator down if you don't like, is capable of taking the stairs or have a bicycle with you or there's even a bicycle road down. So. Um, no reason why not to walk here. And remember, it's only around a 15 minute walk, 20 minute walk from the station. It is 32 minutes down here by train. It is a great walk out from the station and it's the same time as taking the car down here. So there's no reason not to walk out here from the station and it's cheaper than the car. All right, I have just walked through the outlets and I'm now out in the parking spot because there's a little more quietness out here. There was too much noise for me to film in the outlet center, but it's a great place for a great deal. It's not the big outlet centers you will find in Germany or in the Czech Republic. It doesn't have that almost no money deal. It has great deals compared to normal stores. So yeah, it is not a typical outlet center, but it is an outlet center. And for all you shopaholics, the video is ending here. For all you others who want to experience more than just shopping, more than just buying a good deal, well, the video really starts here and let's head out. Because there is a nature walk around Ringsted and that is where I'm headed right now. Um, hopefully I can get some good pictures and I can show you that Ringsted has more to offer than just shopping. 
sometimes when I'm out walking, I don't really use my brain enough because I have taken on the wrong footwear. I have some uh, good sailor shoes on, which uh, are not good when it's rainy, it's muddy, it's everything, but it's not going to hold me back from exploring. The right footwear is the best thing to do, but uh, <laughs> not me. No, 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 no. I take the wrong footwear and out I go. So I have reached the exploration trail. Oh, that's the closest approximation I can translate it into. It's a small trail going around Ringsted. It goes further out on both ends, so you can actually get quite far out. And it is going to be one of my walkable experiences when I'm looking closer to walking routes. Just one thing really destroys nature that I have that one, but well, you can't have everything. It's a beautiful trail and I'll return to what you can experience in one moment. As I walk out here, it seemed to be clearing up just a little bit. I can see blue skies. I don't know if it's translated on the camera, but blue skies, yeah. It's not an entirely rainy day, but it's still gray and gloomy most of the time. But <laughs> yeah, that's life for you. You cannot always get bright sunny days, but you can get a great experience, no matter what, here in Ringstel. And now we come up on the first thing. The first of uh, the exploration route things. And this is actually quite special. And um, let's head on over there. And I'll tell you once I reach it. We have reached a little lookout tower, and if the sound sounds funny, it's because I'm inside the tower. I'm looking out over nature. And what's so great about this is that you can stand here and look over nature. When it's harvest season, you will be able to see well, the farming equipment driving out on the fields. When it's summer, you will be able to see the sun as it hits the fields and nature. But what's also great is if you come out here early in the morning, you might be able to see some wildlife. And from this vantage point, you will be able to look out over the fields, over the trees and see a little bit of wildlife. There's even a little uh, birdhouse just next to it. So uh, definitely worth a stop, especially if you come here early in the morning, but uh, worth a stop all day around, all year round, because you'll see something different every time. One thing to be aware of as you walk down these stairs is that they are quite narrow, so it's difficult to get your feet there. So uh, make sure that you look where you step as you get up and down this uh, tower. Just, just a little hint. Because you don't want to fall all the way down here because it's going to hurt. But as we move away, I just want to point out that they have made a little bridge over some swampy lands here. So you can walk out to the tower with dry shoes. Another great little thing of Ringstel. Another great little thing about this trail is that if you get hungry, if you get thirsty and you don't have enough supplies with you, well, as long as you're walking the route just outside of Ringstel, well, the city's right over that hill, just over that hill, and you'll be able to get into the city and buy what you need. So you're not distant from modern civilization. You're not out in the wilderness, but you are out in nature and it is fairly quiet out here. I can hear some humming in the background from a highway really far down that way. If you're going the full trail, you will cross that highway or go under it, actually. But if you're not going the full trail, well, you don't have to worry about it. You can go in peace and quietness and just hear the sounds of nature. Today it's windy, so the trees are giving a little bit away. Throughout this entire walking route, you will be followed by this little river uh, or canal or what you will call it. It's a small bit of waterway. You cannot sail on it, but uh, it just adds something to the entire picture. And in a moment, we will get up to the end of this trail. And then we can head back into Ringstel because there are two things I haven't shown you yet here in Ringstel. And then I will also be heading out to the other end of this trail, but that would be in another video as we're nearing the end of this walking route. Then let's just talk about why do you need to pay for a gym membership when you got 
this yeah it is an outdoor training area it's not the same as a gym membership but if you don't want to pay for a gym membership and you're living close to one of these they are actually quite great for example you have this little one exercise bike sitting there exercise 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 you have small steps you even have small handles like these ones to grab a hold of and do exercise stuff with yeah i'm not that good at exercising at this i like to use weights whenever i exercise but for the last long while i haven't exercised that much on this kind of equipment i've just been doing my walking trails i have been doing gym of life stuff but what i like about this is that they have made something great they have made a training area they have remembered that you need to hydrate it should be off right now yes because it's in the middle of the winter and we don't want it to get frozen and uh, get well, leaky but in the summertime this one works and if you are staying in the ring still and you need to work out then this great facilities are here they're free to use and you can use them just as much as you want all right just want to find out these signs are everywhere you can scan a qr code for the experience trail um, and this is not sponsored <laughs> i just have to say because i say it really sounds like a commercial 5.9 out to the dam and i hit the trail right around ha the halfway mark between that so well i've been walking for two and a half maybe three kilometers and we're still not there we're only halfway one of the experiences you get from walking out here is how nature and modern society can work together in harmony and what i just figured out is that there is a road right in front of me uh, up here i will be going under the tunnel in a moment but that road i've biked over it so many times i have never known there was this trail down here this trail is actually new to me because i didn't know it was there uh, so yeah i'm experiencing something new in a city i know oh so well or at least i thought i knew it oh so well apparently not ringstead is an old train town it has had trains for as long as we have had trains in on sealand almost almost not as long almost someone will correct me in the comments if i say we have had that all the time no 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 almost and you will find old infrastructure like this this old bridge is well way old i don't know how old it is but it just shows you that well you find beautiful things and it can something this bridge it can really do something one of the things is the, the lighting through that tunnel it is special it is nothing special to look at just if you just look uh, it's just a tunnel but if you start to look for the lighting for the architecture mm. imagine what great architecture has to be put into that to make a stream go through trains running on top of it as every 10th 10 to 5 minutes between there's a lot of trains going up there <laughs> over that bridge and there's even heavy duty um, trains with uh, cargo cargo trains and it was not built yesterday it is not built in modern times i can't find a number on it so i cannot find out when it's built but definitely before we got the heavy trains we have today but let's head through it and see what we can find on the other side for a moment there i thought it was a sports playground on the other side of this fence but uh, no it looks like an old water treatment plant it doesn't look like it's in the service anymore but it looks like an old water treatment plant with the uh, big reservoirs uh, now i wish i could set up my drone so i could look in and see what this but uh, there's some things in the way for me to send up my drone the danish drone laws does not allow me to cross any fences so i cannot cross it but i could go up and look down all right that, that that is solved by that second one there is an airport right out here i'm not allowed to fly within five kilometers of an airport 
and I even have the big drone license. Yeah, because I have not applied for exemption from that restriction and uh, yada yada yada. <laughs> but I, I, I might even send it up just a little above. Can't we just do it like this? No, I think I can send up the camera. I don't know if it's useful, but um, now you know what I mean. Hopefully it will give me something. <laughs> but let's head on up. We are almost at the end of this trail. This trail, uh, it's connected to another trail. The end of the experience route is connected to another trail. And I want to talk to you about that trail because that trail is actually one I want to walk at some point. Just have to go over to uh, the sign. It is hidden a bit away and I can see if it's summertime. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of well, trees in the way, so you will have a hard time seeing it. But it is the pilgrim route. The pilgrim route goes through Denmark. There's uh, several parts of it. It goes from uh, Helsingør up in the northern part of Zealand down to Kosher where it crosses the Great Belt. Um, and as I recall, it also crosses down to Dolan, Falster, something like that. In Jutland, it goes from north to south and across Fyn is a connection. So uh, the pilgrim route goes all through Denmark and I would love to walk it at some point. So if you want me to walk it, then uh, support me on my Patreon. In a moment, we will have finished the walking route. And then I will be heading in to the two museums you should see in Bringsville. But there's a church up here. I think it's ugly as something I don't pronounce. The, the church is the white building behind me. I want my old-fashioned churches. That up there is just some modern design that... Uh, I don't like it. Ten years ago, to find my way around, I would have used a map. I would have looked on a map and said, oh, I can walk this big road, and I would have stayed on the main roads because I had to remember it in my head. But today I have Google Maps with me, and Google Maps on this phone, it is folded together, I cannot see it. But it will say to me, oh, do, 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 uh, turn right in uh, 210 meters. So, uh, yeah. Use Google Maps. And it's okay to question the road Google Map takes you. But if you're not familiar with the area, take it as an experience. So my camera did just run out of battery for the last part. But I will still take you through it because I have pictures. As mentioned earlier, there are two museums I want to share with you. The first one is Ringsted Radio Museum. Ringsted Radio Museum is a special museum. It's about radio, radio communication, how radio has developed throughout the years. And it is a joy to walk in there and see how far we have come in actually how little time. As of this recording, they are open every Sunday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I'm planning to come back to that museum in an upcoming series. I will make about small little museums that are worth a visit. But that will be in a future series and it will be an entire series for itself. So make sure that you click that subscribe and that bell notification icon to so get notified every time I upload a new video. And let's move on to the second museum, which is also quite an interesting museum known by the iconic windmill. This is the museum that makes the city complete because which city would not be complete without a city museum? The city museum that tells the story of the city. It tells the story of farming because Ringsted is an old farmer's town. And some old findings from the local area, which is definitely worth a visit. If you want to know more about places to explore within an hour of Copenhagen Central Station, then check out the video on your screen right now. And well, if you have any questions, remember write them down in the comment and I will answer as quickly as possible.